I recently made a fun discovery that you can add a drop shadow to section dividers in Squarespace to add a little bit more depth to the page. All you have to do is target the section with a divider and then add a filter drop shadow. Now to understand this property a little bit better, we can go to the demo on this page. So you write filter and then drop shadow and it takes three values in a color. The first value is the X offset. The second value is the Y offset. And then the third value is the blur amount. And then the fourth value is the color. So if I right click on the section with the section divider and click inspect, that'll bring up my Chrome inspect tools. And I can navigate up to the section here. You can see the section element and then grab the data section ID. So if I double click on the data section ID, I can copy the whole thing and we'll just need to put it inside of brackets. And now we can open up some curly brackets. And now we can copy the filter drop shadow code. Now I'll paste it in here. And again, the first value is the X offset. So we want that to be zero. The second value is the Y offset. We might want to turn it up to like 50 because we don't want any blur at the top. Um, so we might want to even turn it up more than that to like 60. Now you can see there's no blur at the top, but we do have the blur on the bottom. Now, I don't want it to be this blue color. I would rather have it be a semi-transparent black color. So if you write a hex code, that's just solid black. But if we use RGBA instead, so we can write RGBA, open up some parentheses, and now I can write 0, 0, 0, which is black, but now I can give it a comma and then a decimal, and that's how transparent it is. So it's 50% transparent. So if I comment that out, we can see how it looked before. And now with one line of CSS, we've added some depth to our design. And the best part about it is if I edit the section and then change the shape of the section divider, the drop shadow will still automatically apply and follow the new shape that we have selected.